Praise God. Glory a Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry in the ventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and hablalos in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga. And today is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. But before we continue, let's pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem. Father, we pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem, Father, in the name of Jesus. We speak peace that your angels camp around them, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We have an awesome guest today from Karis Bible College in Houston. The founder is Andrew Womack from Colorado, and now they have it here in Houston on demand. Praise the Lord, Brother Clinton Zeller. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Tell us something about the Bible College, brother, and uh, how it got all started. Tell us. All right. Well, our, our college started here in Houston three years ago, and it's, it's an extension of the Karis Bible College that we had in Colorado that was yeah. founded by Andrew Walmack over 20 years ago. And, and we were located up on the north side of Houston off I-45, 1960 area, right in there, right off the interstate. So it's yes. a, a, a really good location up right. there and just uh, changing a lot of people's lives. A lot of people think that they... Uh, or they they feel like the Lord's telling them to go to Bible college and Karis Bible college, but they're just not really in a position right now to uh, pack up their lives and move all the way to Colorado. And so we've taken that same school and brought it to the people here. So now I like to say that we have the greatest Bible college in the school Amazing. in the the world, in the greatest city in the world, and. How could it go wrong? Right? Praise God. That's good. <laughs> and uh, what are the hours? Uh, like the, how many years do they go to the one-year course or two years, three years? And what are the hours? Uh, and is there also online possibility classes if they can't go to school, even though they live here close to it? But sometimes because of their schedules at work and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, they have uh, up at the Colorado campus, they offer uh, online and correspondent right. courses for people that can't actually go to a school. But right. really, uh, the best thing that people can do is surround themselves with like-minded believers. Right. So we try to encourage people to go to these schools because we can build each other up and lift, up, lift each other up. But we, uh, we have a full-time day school which goes from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Monday through Thursday uh -huh. four days a week four hours a day uh -huh. and then we have part-time uh, night school that is from 6 30 to 9 30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays and how long is the classes in order to get a diploma from oh, your school? we have a, a two-year program or and then there's a, a brand new third year uh, leadership program that's starting this year so uh, the third year is optional but if you want to to receive your minister's license from Karis Bible College in Houston uh, you you need to go through that first two-year course is this a accredited school or not it's not an accredited school but what we I mean I've never come into contact with anybody where that's ever been an issue I mean you get a you get a a hold of the grace of God and it doors open and things line up. We do give you a degree after the the second year, but if you were to transfer it over to another school, those hours wouldn't transfer. Okay, it's good to know that because some people, and but really a lot of people are not really interested. In, some are, but some aren't uh, on the degree aspect, of, but they want to know the truth because mm -hmm. there's all kinds of doctrine and teachings of faith and grace and some go to one extreme and then other ones go to another extreme mm -hmm. explain that to us a little bit yeah well really that's the the vision of Karis Bible College Andrew's vision for Karis is to to change the body of Christ's perception of God by preparing and sending out leaders to proclaim the truth of the gospel to America and the world so I like to use Ephesians 2 8 and it says that we have been or by grace we're saved through faith. Right. So we have this this one side of the the body of Christ that believes that well Jesus accomplished everything on the cross. It's a done deal. I can just sit back and and relax and just rest in His glory. And then there's the other side. 
that, that leans toward a more religious or legalistic way, putting a lot of works involved in what we have to do and earn our right standing with God. Well, what we do and what, what Andrew does in his ministry is, is put a balance there where there's, there's not an extreme either direction. There's, there's grace and faith. Amen. Grace was provided. That's God's part. But now we need to receive it by faith, and, and, and that's our part. Basically, like, um, for example, if the person is sick, we're not praying to God to heal you. Your faith is reaching out into the spirit world and bringing into the natural world that what has already been done by grace. So faith and grace working together. Mm-hmm. So... I don't say when I pray, like when my end of my programs, I pray, lay your hands on your body, command your body to be healed, receive the healing that has already been provided. That's right. In Jesus' name. That's the authority of the faith, but the the, the healing. And when I prayed, God didn't heal me. He already healed me even before the foundation of the world. Yes. It's because Jesus died before the, in the mind of God, Jesus was already sacrificed. He already died for us mm-hmm. to be whole healed and he says the bible says before the foundation he chose us to be holy and blameless through him his christ that's through right christ jesus so we're the grace if you out there that think that uh uh guess god did everything for us but yet you need to activate your faith to bring that from the spirit world and bring it down to be manifested here in this earth Mm-hmm. This is already done, but yet you need to activate your faith. Mm-hmm. It's there, but you need to go get it by your faith. Yeah, activate your faith. Faith without works is dead. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, Praise yeah. And Lord. so, so grace is multiplied. That's what Second Peter one two says. It's multiplied through the knowledge of God. So right. the more you know about God, the easier it is to reach out and grab those things. You mm-hmm. can't reach out and grab it if you don't even know it's there. If you think if you have the wrong perception of who God is and mm-hmm. and what He's doing or the right. circumstances you think he might have put you in. Yeah, another thing too, I understand that uh, I know in the in the New Testament when the gentleman said to Jesus, help me my faith, help me in my unbelief, because that's before the salvation was ever accomplished and to, when, when after Jesus died when we're born again we're born again with faith Mm-hmm. It, it, through this, we're born of spirit, soul, and body. Our spirit is born again, and we have the nature of God, love, peace, joy. And when we read the Word of God, all it's doing is moving our flesh out the way and let the spirit man that already has that faith in us. Mm-hmm. Am I correct? Is that yeah, it? absolutely. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise God. And tell us some of the perception of, of God that some people have here in the body of Christ today. Well, one of the biggest things that I've seen among the, the body of Christ is they think God's an angry God. Right. That right. they think that he's this old man with a lightning bolt, you know, just ready to strike him down the moment that they mess up. Right. And it's just, that's so far from who God is. Right. And it's holding people back from experiencing all those things that you're talking about, right. that by his stripes you were healed. It's right. an, a done deal. It's already in your spirit. You just have to receive it. Well, right. if you think God's angry at you, you're not. You're running away from God. You're not running toward Him anymore. And and I, I like to think of John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His Son. A lot of people can't even comprehend the fact that God could love us as much as He loved Jesus. Amen. But He gave Jesus to the world. And and at that time, if you think about what who the, what the world was hardly anybody even believed in him at that moment. And he still did those things. So God loves us. He loves the entire world. That love is available. The same thing through grace, but we have to receive it. We have to accept it. Even when we're sinners, he loved us. That's right. Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall principalities or powers or demons or angels? The only one that really could separate us from the love of God is our lack of understanding who we are, and who we belong to. That's right. Because I've seen the defeat of people walking in defeat because of not knowing who they are. Mm-hmm. Praise be to God. And tell me, um, 
how are you getting involved? How does one get involved in Keras? How did you get involved in Keras? Well, our, uh, you know, it hasn't been that long ago that we got a hold of this. And five years ago, I was a mess. Mm -hmm. I was pretty much an alcoholic. I was just getting out of the army. I had post-traumatic stress, anger, depression, and I was looking for answers anywhere. I was going to psychiatrist, uh, anger management groups where it's, it's kind of funny because we go to these groups expecting to get help. And for an hour a week, we sit around and we talk about what makes us angry. So we're <laughs> magnifying what makes us angry <laughs> rather than magnifying a solution to the problem. And so uh, I went from anger management because that wasn't working to a post-traumatic stress and the same thing. Instead of talking uh, for an hour a week about what makes us angry, now we're talking about what makes us crazy for an hour a week. So now mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about my problems, I'm thinking about everyone else's problems. And it just got to a point, back against the wall, I had no other choices. Uh, we're going to go to church. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to figure this thing out. And we're right around that time, my wife got pregnant with our daughter. And uh, we thought, you know, the moral thing is to go to church. And our kid's going to be a good moral person. So let's take her, let's start getting involved in a church before that. And uh, it was about a year. I went to that church and I never heard anything like it. It was just God wasn't this distant thing anymore. He was here with me and he's mm -hmm. here to help me. And I'd never really heard anything like that before. And then about a year into going to that church, I just felt like the Lord was calling me to, to ministry. And I talked to my pastor. He showed, uh, we got online. We found Karis Bible College. I was living in Pueblo, Colorado at mm -hmm. the time. So it was only about a 45 minute drive to the, the school. So I, um, uh, it's a long story, but I signed up and I just started to draw near to God, just get to know Him like I never knew Him before, oh, and Lord. and all those things started to fall away. My the alcohol, it got to where it had been three days and I hadn't had a drink, and I didn't even realize it. I was just uh, just getting to know God, and and that's another one of those things where people think they need to stop all this sinning and all these bad things that they're doing before they can get to know God, and that what they need to do is. Just focus on knowing God and let the sin and the, the bad things that they're doing just take care of themselves. Mm. You're going to be so full of God, there's not going to be room for any any of that stuff amen. that you're addicted to. Amen, amen. In other words, you begin, you, the, the truth became truth and you knew the truth and it set you free. That's right. And the truth realized that that power of sin has been broken over you. Mm -hmm. And once you knew the truth, you were able to walk in that freedom that it was provided for you. Mm -hmm. And you activated that faith, believing in the finished work of God. Yes. I don't have to pray, God, deliver me from this pornography. <laughs> no, son, you need to wake up and realize the scripture says, 1 Corinthians 15, 34, wake up to righteousness and sin not. Know who you are and who you belong to, know that he became sin, that we might become righteous. That power of sin has been broken over us, according to first, but Romans 8, 2. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember we talked about That's that, brother? Right. Praise God. And how's, how has this message impacted your life and has changed people in your school? You know, uh, really just what you're talking about right there, that, that revelation of understanding that I'm not a sin didn't cause me to be a sinner. Adam's sin caused right. me to be a sinner. Right. And, and so it's really, it was never about my performance. It right. was, I was born into at what Adam did. Right, right. And so the same thing, when you're, you're born into that, well, you're born again into righteousness right. through what Jesus did. Right, right. Not about what I did. Right. And so our performance has nothing to do really from our, the beginning, our performance had nothing to do with anything. Amen. It was our belief system. Amen. And whenever I got that into my mind that I could receive all these things but, uh, by grace through faith, uh -huh. I just believe it, and things start to manifest in my life. Like I said, the, the, the addictions fell away, the anger went away, the post-traumatic stress went away, and, and on top of that, I've, I, I hear God's voice that much clearer because, I mean, if you're, when you're at peace, 
that's when you can hear God's voice. And, Amen. and if all these, these circumstances that we go through cloud that. Amen. So if we can just step back and focus on who God really is, you start to hear his voice. And I've, that's why I'm here. I moved to Houston just last July. Uh, we uh, initially were going to start a church down here, but um, the Lord just kind of redirected us a little bit over to the, the, the Karis Bible College Houston, and now we're seeing those people's lives change through so that same, same uh, revelation that it's not about them and all everything that, that they've done right or wrong. Mm. It's just about understanding who God is and what he's provided for Amen. them. Amen. And like for you basically said, like in Romans five twelve, uh, to those who are listening, in case you didn't understand, like he was saying, uh, the reason why uh, people were born with desires, with lying, cheating, stealing, or desires of homosexuality, or pornography, or uh, you don't have to do nothing to become a sinner. All you had to do is be, be born in this world. And when you, you was effortless, it was nothing you did. It was because of your parents. But whatever it was, it was because of Adam's sin. You are born separated from God and you were alienated. And for all the homosexuals who say, I was born this way. The reason why you're born the way you were born is because of Adam. It wasn't God that made you a homosexual. It was because of Adam or made you a sinner. It was because of Adam. And the and, and, and reason why your kid or child was born with Down syndrome is not because God's trying to teach you something. The reason why you were born with sicknesses and diseases is because of Adam. But the good news is the second Adam, am I right, mm -hmm. is through him you be able to be set free and delivered from any addictions or perversion. The good news is knowing who you are and who you belong to. You're no longer of the first Adam. You're the second Adam, Jesus Christ. We're born again through Jesus Christ. Amen, brother? Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and I see that uh, you are teaching this in the Bible school. And, and how can they get a hold of you, brother? Oh, our website is karisbiblecollege.org slash Houston. Uh -huh. And our phone number up there is 713-909-4127. Praise the Lord. And repeat that number again. 713-909-4127. Uh, okay, good. And if they could call you and, and the, uh, um, how much does the school cost us for one year or two year? Or do you have that on the website yeah whenever you you can get on the website you can download one of the application packets and it, it breaks things down there's a few different options for people so they can they can do it uh, download that application packet take a look at the financial sheet and if there's they have any questions they can just call us wow well wow. yes praise the Lord and once again you're one who teaches the gospel and the uncompromising word and, and share with some more with the people of the grace of God and the goodness of God. Uh, just two or three minutes we have for sure, you. Sure, sure. Well, you, you mentioned a lot of it but where it comes to, you know, God's already provided these right, things. It's right. a done deal. But right. we're, we're sitting here begging God to move in our life and to do something. Right. Well, he moved 2,000 years ago. Right. Now we just need to receive it. And it's uh, one of my life scriptures, what I like to call it, is Second Peter one, two, and that's the one that I mentioned earlier, but it says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. And then you go down to verse three. There's a whole lot of, what I like about these next couple verses is there's a whole lot of past tense going on there where he has given you these things. It says in verse three, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. We think that we need to prove our godliness well he's already given it to us he's it's a done deal we just need to receive it when you believe that he's given you that you start to act on it you mentioned right, faith right. without works is dead right, right we don't have to work to prove our faith right. faith produces works if, if there's a fire in here we're going to move we're going to do something right, about it right. so if you believe it if you don't believe it you're going to sit here and do nothing amen and so uh, and you keep going um 
It's through the knowledge of Him that has called us to glory. He's already called us to so many awesome things, Amen. and and it's it doesn't matter what we've gone through in our past. It's right. it's just taking this truth right. and allowing it to to take us somewhere. Knowing the truth, then you will be set free. That's right. And for those who are listening, uh, you might be understand thinking that well, you don't understand uh, what I'm going through. Uh, or addictions, or perversion. I myself, like I mentioned to you, brother, was delivered from transsexuality, homosexuality. And there was the power of the cross. There is awesome power that whosoever call upon that name shall be set free. And that the power of sin, according to Romans 8, has been broken. Jesus activated the law of life by the Spirit. But St. Adam activated the law of sin and death. When I accepted Jesus, when I realized that when I accepted Jesus, that the law of sin and death, that power of homosexuality, was broken over my life when I accepted Jesus as Lord. Hallelujah. There's power in that name and in that cross. When he died and resurrected, he set me free. Hallelujah. And in, I don't care what demon or addiction, there's power in that name. Amen, brother? Amen. Hallelujah. And I want you, if you could pray for the audience before we get ready to close in a few minutes, if you could pray for them right now. Yeah, absolutely. Father, we just uh, thank you for each person watching this program today. We thank you for everything that you've done, everything that you are, and everything that you've created us to be. And I, I just speak that the blessing over the people out there today and just pray that their hearts are open to receive more knowledge of who you are, a brand new revelation that you are a good God and that you love us unconditionally and there's nothing that we can do to make you love us any more or make you love us any less. You love us with everything in you. You love us so much that you gave your son for us and we love you so much for it. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And, and and the good thing about it, when I see brothers who do fall, you don't fall from grace. You just fall into, you just sin because you liked it. Simple as that. Just admit it. When you do, I'm not going to beat you. I'm going to feed you. Mm -hmm. You're righteous. My Bible tells me I don't care that the addiction of pornography has no right over you because you are born again. You are a new species. You are righteous. You were chosen before the foundation of the world to be holy and blessed. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. And I decree that over you. And that lying devil of perversion has no control because you are a new creature. Right. I'm speaking to you who you really are. Mm -hmm. You were bound by the devil at one time. But according to Romans 8, 2, it's been broken That's through right. the law of Christ, Jesus, Spirit of Christ, and that power of sin is broken. And see that, see, the people preach, you're going to go to hell for doing this. Go to, don't preach to me that I'm going to go to hell. Do Teach me how to walk in victory in what the devil is trying to bring upon me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's wonderful that you preach, okay, I understand that hell is there, but teach me how to walk in victory. Don't beat me. Feed me. Show me how to walk. See, that's the good thing about the Bible. You're teaching them how to walk in what God created them to be more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. To walk holy, blameless, as he is, so you are in this earth. You're, you're teaching them how to be more than conquerors. You don't have to go to heaven to reign in life. That's right. You can reign in life <laughs> right now. now. Yep. Now, the Bible tells us we sit in heavenly places already. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So when the devil tried to test me with my past, he said, Satan, come here. Let me talk to you. <laughs> sit right here. Let me remind you of your defeat. When my God beat your tail at the cross, and when he was resurrected, he defeated you. And that power of sin, of almost has no power over me. I'm dead to your power. I'm a new creature. Oh, things passed away. And the Bible says what a man thinks in his mind, he shall be. Mm -hmm. is, do you agree with that, brother? Is that if you oh, believe yeah. that you're righteous and holy, you will walk in that. Mm -hmm. That's who you are. So rather than beat the people, you feed the people. That's, That's right. what John Osteen used to say. <laughs> John Osteen used to say, from Lakewood, he used to say, don't beat me, feed me. Beat, don't feed me, beat, don't, uh, beat the sheep, feed the sheep. 
Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And and how can they get a hold of you again, brother? Tell the audience. Uh, KarisBibleCollege.org slash Houston. Uh-huh. Or you can call us at 713-909-4127. One more time for those who are hard of hearing. That's uh, 713-909-4127. Praise be to God. And if you out there that need to accept Jesus Christ, the salvation that has already been provided, let's pray. Say, Jesus, come in my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I believe that you are the Son of God, and I confess Jesus is Lord and Savior. And if you're sick, lay hands on your body, command that sickness to be gone in the name of Jesus, and receive the healing that God already did at the cross. I believe in miracles i believe that when we prayed god answered and brothers and sisters please call brother clinton and once again give him your number brother how to get a hold of you 713-909-4127 praise be to god and i'm excited to have had you here brother and I'm excited that uh, things that we talked about is going to help people and I believe we need to get in this word. Let's pray for the peace of Israel. Father, right now, we pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, just bless them. Protect them, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. We did it. We made it. Praise God, glory a Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry in the adventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and hablalos in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga.